most of us in order to find acceptance by people we tend to emphasize our good qualities and our strength many will boast how good they are how intelligent they are how many strings of degrees they hold and how much experiences they have working in the world sometimes those of us who are too talented those of us who have many gifts in life we don't really work in such a way that people could see that the work of god is in us in fact we tend to project our talents so much that people say oh you're very talented you're very eloquent it's all about what we can do but they never say it is god who is doing all these things through you and that would be a big mistake we are not called to draw people to ourselves we are called to draw people to jesus not to ourselves and so there is a danger that sometimes when we are so self sufficient we tend to boast and to rely on ourselves that's why st paul when he wrote his first letter to the corinthians he told the disciples you were chosen not because you were influential not because you were of noble birth not because you were great he chose you even though you were nobody so that the wisdom of god the glory of god can shine through us indeed my dear brothers and sisters we know that god is working through us only when we feel helpless when we feel weak when we feel that we are not able to do any more when we feel that we are limited and that is where god will show his power if we can preach eloquently if we can teach well if we can do great things and when people see us and know that we do not have these talents but god has worked his miracle through us then they will be inspired to rely on god not rely on human efforts and human strength alone if we put our focus on god then god will help us to go through each day in our journey of life and so jesus is inviting us to manifest the glory of god in and through us in our weakness in our sinfulness in our limitations so that when we allow god to work in us people will know that god is truly great all we need to do is to trust in jesus we need to put god as the center of our lives we need to put the kingdom at the forefront in all that we do when we are focused on god on doing good on serving people then we have no time to focus on ourselves no time to focus on our selfish needs on our ego what people would think of us if we are focused on others these things will not affect us what we are most concerned is how can we glorify god how we can serve him effectively and how can we serve his people when we do that my dear brothers and sisters there is nothing to boast about ourselves in fact we are humbled so humbled and grateful that god will make use of us unworthy as we are sinful as we are limited in talents and yet god uses us so mightily for his glory and for his gospel so my dear brothers and sisters let us focus on god's strength and most of all focus on his love for each one of us